Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be reviewing the IBM 5150. I've already made a video about it. I, it wasn't really a review because it passed on so hard. This right here is the first PC that pretty much started it all. I mean, there were PCs before like the Xerox Alto, but I feel bad if you had that in your house. Yeah, I'm going to bring my refrigerator over tonight. That's pretty much what we had to say. So yeah, um, as you can first see, you got the two floppy drives. This one actually had a hard drive, but I took that out. It's uh, Actually, I'll show you right now. It's so thick. This thing's a freaking pig. Mm. Look how dense it is. Like, why is it gotta be that dense? I'll show up up here to you. So, like, here's your normal size hard drive, and then look at that. Look at that comparison! How oh my goodness! That's so thick. Like, my goodness! This thing is mass. This one is a Seagate. It was installed February 1st, 1989. It's when, when uh, Joe Biden installed it in the computer. Here's this man, go hack him, he lives in Vermont. Uh, I mean, it has the normal power. Here's your motor. And yes, it's not a hard drive review, but I just wanted to show you that. The other two floppy drives, this is A and this is B. I think there used to be labels that would tell you if it was A or B, but and then you got your badge. Yeah, it's pretty much the computer. And then you got the OG keyboard right here. OG keyboard, OG monitor. Yeah, I mean, it would have a 5153 if you felt like installing it, but I ain't gonna do those things because I want it to be DOG. So yeah, let's turn it off. So yeah, there's your startup right there. When would that blinking cursor means it's counting RAM in newer IBM 5150s? It would actually show you the RAM, but this one does. So yeah, there it is starting up. Right now, it's trying to see if you have a floppy drive, and if you don't, it'll just be right into basic. So yeah, you can do your basic right here. Do your ten. I always, and I mean always, mess up. Okay, but yeah, you get the point. So right now, this is booting into basic. You can read that IBM personal computer. Copyright IBM 1981. And then uh, these right here. That's just for like to run programs and load if you have a cassette tape, which I don't. And this right here, zero, I think you hit F10, it actually resets the screen. Nine, I don't know what F9 does. What does F9 do? That's a key, I guess. F8, trough. I know 10 is for resetting. F9, you can choose your key, and those right there, those are for like a cassette tape, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it is. So, yeah. That's the IBM running, and right now I'll open it up and you, we can take a look inside. Okay, I got the case open, and as we can see, we got the two 560K floppy drives. We got the RAM extension card, graphics card. This is CGA. This is just not a color one. Then we got the network card. I'm sorry if this can hook up to the network. Then we got the floppy drive controller. Then we got the motherboard. Get, get your mitts. We got the motherboard. There's the CPU right here. You can't really see it. it's right there. And we got the power supply right here. So let me turn this around on the back real quick. Okay, so got it turned around. This one was made in the USA. IBM actually had two. This one's the USA and they they actually had one in Scotland too. These stickers unfortunately passed on. So hard. That's where it used to be. But thankfully some guy on eBay probably named Joe Biden. I got that sticker, it should be right I'm saying I'll clap it back on there. Then you got your output, your input, that's for the 51, 51, that one's for well, it's power. Then here you got your keyboard and cassette right there. I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the floppy drive controller, the network. Well, actually, I don't think that's a network. I think that's the phone. You can hook up a phone to this. And then you got the CGA, and then your RAM extension card, which I think brought this up to 256. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. That was a review of the IBM 5150, and I'll see you in another video.